So the opening weekend's box office numbers are in for Avatar 2, and it has missed its expectations. Does that mean this movie is going to flop? Well, let's jump into this article and find out. But before I do, if you could, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me and helps the channel very much. So if you're not aware, Avatar 2 Way of the Water needs to clear at least $2 billion for this movie just to break even. It says here over at Variety that the studio spent a jaw-dropping $350 million to produce and even more to market the grand return to Pandora. That is insane. That is a massive amount of money. And so far, it has missed its opening weekend's box office expectation. So Avatar Way of the Water debuted at $134 million in North America and $435 million globally over the weekend. Now, $435 million is not something to slouch at. That is a very, very impressive number. But what they're saying is this movie needed to at least hit $450 million for it to be on target for that $2 billion mark. What a lot of people are anticipating is that because of some other situations right now going on at the theater and the box office, it may still be able to hit that mark. It just really depends on what happens. If you pay attention to the movies that are out in the box office, there's not a lot of competition that is going to put up a big fight against Avatar. And we are going into the Christmas holiday seasons. With the holiday break upon us, kids being off at school and whatnot, this movie may have the legs to reach that $2 billion mark. Another thing that's in its favor is that it did get an overseas China release, but the problem is China right now is locked down pretty heavily. So there's some good news. But there's also some bad news in the sense that this movie may not be a financial success, which is absolutely insane when you look at these numbers and see what it's already done. The fact that a movie that has already made $435 million on opening weekend will not be considered a box office success. That is astounding. So there have been some other big time movies that came out this year that still weren't able to cross the threshold for what Avatar is needing to become successful. It says here, No Way Home couldn't conquer the elusive $2 billion club, and just two others in the COVID times, Top Gun Maverick and Jurassic World Dominion, had enough staying power to hit $1 billion. Personally, I don't think this movie is going to be able to hit the $2 billion mark. I don't think it has the allure that, say, Top Gun Maverick had. I just don't think so. I also think that with the runtime of it being three and a half hours long, I just don't see it happening. When you have a movie that long, you're limiting the amount of times you can show that movie per day in a theater, and that's going to limit it as well. The only positive, like I said, is there's not much competition going on, so theaters can run more showings throughout the entire building, and they may be able to make it up that way. It just really depends, and I think, honestly, it's word of mouth. And I've heard mixed reviews of this movie. I've heard some really good things. I've heard people saying it's kind of boring. I just, I don't know. James Cameron has also said that if this movie is a box office flop, if it does not make money, there will not be a Avatar 4 and 5. Number 3 is already going to happen. It's already been filmed. They're basically finishing up, so there will be a third film no matter what. But at the end of the day, if this film does not succeed at the box office, if this movie does not come out to be a winner, there will not be any further movies after that. So let me know what you think about this insane number below. Do you think Avatar will turn into a box office flop? I always love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I would appreciate it as well. So until next time, take care.